Moray patterns are geometrical designs that are created when a set of straight or curved lines or dots are superposed upon each other. The word moire comes from the word more hair, which is a kind of cloth that is made from the hair of an angora goat. Later on, it underwent a process of generalization and its meaning widened to encompass that of the shimmering quality of the French watered silk. In order to see the moire pattern, the two superposed patterns do not necessarily need to be completely identical, but can be displaced, rotated, or have slightly different pitch. Let's do a demonstration. Here we have two combs. When the two combs are lined up exactly, no moire pattern appears. But when we superpose the combs, we see the moire pattern come to life. Here is another example using transparency sheets. There are a variety of moire patterns, including dotted, concentric, and radial. What's interesting about the moire pattern is that it can be seen in various places in the real world, from television to photography to clothing. Notice that when our transparency sheets were rotated slightly, a new image was created due to this rotation. If for a set of randomized dots, the transparency sheet is shifted to the right, the image created by the rotation will move down. And if the transparency sheet is shifted up, the image will move right. This can be seen through the movement of the intersection of two lines that intersect at some angle bigger than zero degrees. If the intersecting line is moved either left or right, the point of intersection will either move up or down. This application can be used to explain wave interference and beat frequency. Wave interference is when two waves occupy the same space and superimpose each other. If two waves of the same amplitude move toward each other in opposite directions, when they completely overlap, their amplitude is two times the previous amplitude. If the two amplitudes are of opposite signs, say negative x and x, when they overlap, they will create a straight line of amplitude zero. If we look at two sine wavelengths that are lined up exactly, they have amplitude, amplitude two times the amplitude of sine. But if one is shifted by half its wavelengths, the peaks and troughs will align giving amplitude of zero. These applications can be applied to wavelengths of a beat. Beat frequencies, when two beats are played at varying frequencies. For example, if one tone is played at 440 hertz and another is played at 440 hertz, you will hear a constant noise. However, if the second tone is played at a frequency less than or greater than 440 hertz, you will hear a beat in between the constant sound, depending on the difference in frequency. The frequency of this beat is determined by the absolute value of the difference between the two frequencies. In moray patterns, when the images are exactly the same, we see no change in image. However, if we alter one of the images, we'll see this effect through a new pattern. The more the transparency sheet is rotated, the more the image will be altered. Applications of moray. Everyday moiré. The moiré pattern can be seen in everyday objects such as window screens. You can also see them in chiffon fabric if you fold it and slide it around. Moiré in technology. If you have a laptop or TV or phone, you most definitely have seen moiré patterns. If you have seen odd pixelation with some sort of pattern on your screen, that is an example of moiré. These patterns are wavy patterns superimposed over the screen shown as ripples, waves, and whiffs of intensity variation. Moiré in art. You can also see moiré patterns in artwork, particularly in Anoka Faruqi's artwork. She uses acrylic paint on linen panels and she focuses on moiré patterns. The top left piece of artwork is the moiré pattern with concentric circles we demonstrated earlier. Her work is shown all over the world, including in the U.S., Stockholm, and Vienna. Now we'll move on to moiré in photography. Have you ever noticed a pattern on an article of clothing after taking a picture of someone? This is due to moiré patterns, and is very similar to moiré patterns in technology that we just previously learned about. Camera lenses have a very small and very fine pattern on them, which accounts for half of a moiré. So when you take a picture of someone also wearing an article of clothing that has a fine pattern, then this completes the moiré, and as a result, you can see it in the picture that has been taken. If you have never noticed this before, then maybe go back into your photos and zoom in. See if this has ever happened to you. Most likely it has. Now we'll talk about moiré and optical illusions, something that everyone knows about. 
When we first look at optical illusions, our brain creates an, Im an after image. We then continue to stare at the image and we gain involuntary eye movements that overlap this image with the image that you are looking at. This result is called the Moray effect. This is just similar, repetitive patterns merged together at slightly different angles, creating a ripple effect, which also creates the optical illusion that you see.